2 The Bible teaches us that we are not to, we are we are not ignorant of his devices. The Apostle Paul wasn't ignorant of the devices that Satan uses to try to get the work of God to cease, to try to get people out of uh, doing the work of the Lord. And we see one such example here in 2 Corinthians 2. And like I said, we're going to look at, at multiple examples of how Satan attacks people. Because we don't want to be ignorant of how he's going to attack, so we can be ready for it. If you know the types of attacks that Satan's going to come at you with, then you can be strengthened and ready and prepared to defend yourself against those attacks. Then you can be ready to resist so that he can leave you alone. 2 right. Corinthians chapter 2, look at verse number 5. But if any have caused grief, he hath not grieved me, but in part that I may not overcharge you all. Sufficient to such a man is this punishment which was inflicted of many. So that contrarywise, you ought rather to forgive him and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with overmuch sorrow. Wherefore, I beseech you that you would confirm your love toward him. For to this end also did I write that I might know the proof of you, whether you be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgave anything... To whom I forgave it for your sake, sakes, forgave I it in the person of Christ, lest Satan should get an advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So what he's explaining to Corinthians, there's somebody who had committed sin. There's someone who had done wrong here. And what he's explaining is that this guy suffered a punishment that was inflicted of many, and he suffered enough, and it's time to forgive him. And don't allow him to just be engulfed and just overcome with sorrows to the point where he's just given up. I mean, you need to be able, we need to be ready to forgive people when, you know, when they repent, when it's appropriate. And he's saying here, you know, don't allow this person to just be consumed with, be swallowed up. It says in verse 7, swallowed up with over much sorrow. He's a brother in Christ. You're going to need to comfort him. And he explains, you know, hey, I forgave this guy, and to, who, to whom I forgive, and you, or to, whom, to whom ye forgive, in verse 10, I forgive also. So if you guys are ready to forgive this guy, I'm ready to forgive him too. Whatever you bind here, I'll bind too, right? And, and God gives us, as a church, you know, he gives a church, whatsoever is bound on earth shall be bound also in heaven. And whatsoever is loosed on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We, we've got certain authority of, of just forgiving people and, and moving on. And, um, and he says, For if I forgave anything to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave I it in the person of Christ. Not forgetting Christ who forgives us of our sins, right? Never lose sight of that. We preach hard on a lot of sin, and there's some things that we don't tolerate and are not acceptable, and we try to keep biblical standards on things. But let's not get overboard and, and to the point of, of either being hypercritical on people where it's not appropriate or not allowing for the forgiveness that needs to happen so that people don't just get swallowed up in overmuch sorrow. And then why? Because that's one of Satan's devices. He wants people to just be completely washed up and, and not able to get back in the fight. Right. There are some people that, you know, they've repented, they've, they've gone through, they've suffered, and hey, man, it's time for them to get back in the battle. It's time for them to get strengthened back up again. They've, you know, if Christ is able to forgive them, then why can't you? Yeah, and this is, this is that type of a, of a teaching here, and this is one of the things that the devil wants to use. He wants people to become bitter against brothers and sisters in Christ that might have done them wrong, right? So if someone does you wrong, the devil wants you bitter against that person and unable to forgive them. That's what the devil wants. But the Apostle Paul is reminding these people, hey, remember the attitude that Christ had because we've all done wrong against God, against Christ. We've, we've done wrong to him, yet he was still able to offer forgiveness to us. And um, we ought to have a similar attitude with that. So um, 
that's another one of the devices that the devil uses. 